Okay, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to tie a little fly. And what it's supposed to look like, if you look right here, is it looks like a larva, as you can see. So I'm going to be showing you how to tie a fly like this. So let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so the first thing that you want to do when you're tying a fly that's supposed to look like a larva is you want to get a hook and you want a size 6 or bigger because the larvas, they have to be bigger so that the fish will see them and stuff. And also if you can get the curved shank hook so that the, if you, because normally on a normal hook, the hook will go straight, but on the curved hook, it kind of bends around like a C kind of. So what that'll do is give the larva a more natural look like it's actually alive and you know a real larva instead of just a fake larva that the fish will notice so once you do that you're just going to put it in your vise and and one also thing that you can do you don't have to do but these little beads right here they're just golden beads you can put one of those on the head it'll make it just kind of stand out a little bit more so after i get it on i'll show you that okay guys so with the beads if you look at the little golden beads on one side, you can see there's the small hole. And then on the other side, there's the bigger hole. So on your hook, what you want to do is you want to put big hole first and just slide it onto the hook, just like that. All right, so now that we have the bead on the hook, what we're going to want to do is start building a base. Um, you want tan or white, just basically any light color of thread. Um, this is Unifloss. It's 600 ply, 15 yards of it. And this stuff works really good because it's really thick. So it'll it'll um, build the larva body faster. And also you could put wire on this to add weight. But if you have big thick thread like this, you really don't need to. Okay guys, so what you're going to want to do is just get your thread. You're just going to want to start it right at the head. And so you'll wrap around your thread just a couple of times just to get it secured in place and then what you can do is you can just leave your thread hanging there you can get your scissors and go and snip that thread right there and so what you're going to want to do is if you're if you look at the larva you can tell how the body kind of tapers as it gets further down so you want to build it bigger on the head and then get it slowly less um you want to make it like smaller the further it goes down on the hook so you're just going to want to get wrapping it and you just want to wrap right around the head and you can tell just because if you look right here because this thread is so big it just it really it's nice because it quickly quickly builds the body and you don't have to um, like add wire or wrap it forever or anything like that it'll just quickly build up the body as you can see right here so what you're going to do is you just want to keep on going down the body and you want to go about halfway down the bend of the hook so you're going to want to end it probably probably about right there you can maybe go a little bit further and that's just because you still want it to be able to get a good hook set and be able to go into the fish if you wrap it all the way down to the barb when you do the hook set it won't be able to get the barb all the way fully into its mouth and so it won't be able to hold the fish as well so you just want to keep on wrapping it. Once I have the body built, I'll get back to you guys. So now that I have the body built, as you can see, you're just going to want to whip finish your thread. You can do over like half hitch knots, but they won't, you have to do more of them to make it hold as well. So when you're whip finishing, you just want to get your whip finish tool, hook it down on the thread around the front of this, pull it up and rotate it around. So you don't want to actually spin it though. That's one mistake that I did when I was learning how to whip finish. So you don't spin it around, you just want to wrap it. So then you just want to let this pop off, just like that, and then pull this one down as you tighten it. And there's your whip finish complete. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip this thread off right at the base. And then also I'm gonna put some of this stuff so you can use head cement, but I also, um, clear nail polish will work just as well. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to get, get the nail polish 
And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of little hairs sticking up off of it. That's fine. What you want to do though is just get get your um get your nail polish, go right up on the knot right there, and then just run one straight down the body like that. Okay, get so get a little bit more, and this will just help it hold everything together a little bit better. So just want to put all the nail polish on it, and there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add the highlights. So this can be done with wire or any other color thread. I did it with black thread, with a dark brown black thread last time. So that's the, the little wrappings down the down the sides of it. So that just helps it so it looks a little bit um, like more noticeable kind of to the fish. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, guys. So now that we've clipped it off and tied it, what we want to do is we want to get our bobbin. And this still has my tan thread. But what you're going to want to do is just pull that out of it. And then you want to get a different color thread. I'm going to be using dark brown. It looks black, but it's 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 brown. Um, so what you're going to do is just put that in your bobbin. And then there's this tool, and it's called a threader. So what you're going to do is you want to just stick this straight down up through the bobbin right here, as you can see. And then what you're going to do, oops, just knocked over my nail polish. But then what you're going to do is just get the, get the thread and you're going to pull out a little bit of it. So just, you know, give it some, give it some room. And then what you're going to do is just pull it out and then you want to stick it through the threader like this and then pull it back up through. So now that you have the thread pulled through the threader, you just want to pull it straight up and through through it so it goes like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my different colored thread and I'm going to start right at the head, right where the thread meets the bead. And I'm just going to wrap it a couple of times just so that it can wrap around this excess thread right here. But then once you've got that done, what you're going to want to do is just snip off the excess thread just like this. And then you want to you want to just go and wrap it around a couple more times just to make it look look better, you know. And then once you have it just like that, so there's a little black line right where it meets at the head. If you can look, you're going to want to start wrapping a diagonal line straight down it just like this. And it doesn't matter how much you want to space it, but just make sure that it's spaced a little bit so that it gives it like a stripey look instead of a um, like a solid, solid colored look. So I'm spacing these probably one or two millimeters apart, which is pretty tight. I've done some that aren't spaced as much, that are spaced more, sorry. And they 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 just have more of the tan color, but less of the um but less of the uh, the whatever color you choose to accent it. You could also use something like gold or copper wire, which would work pretty well, I think, as well. But um, I'm just going to do this because I know that this works. So when you get to the bottom of the, the larva, instead of wrapping down, you want to just wrap around it like this. Okay? So if you can see what I'm doing right there, I'm just wrapping around it. So, so now that I've got that, what I'm going to do is because you could tie a whip finish on the back end of it and finish it off at the back, but to give it a little bit of an extra look, what I'm going to do is go, and then I'm going to wrap it diagonally. So it makes X's on it, if you can see that. If you look at it, it you can kind of see that it's making an X on it. So now that I'm... Once I get back to the head, I'm going to give it a couple more good wraps. Then I'm just going to whip finish it off like I did with the tan. So remember, hook it, wrap around, go, rotate, rotate. Don't, don't spin the entire thing, just this top thread so that the bottom one keeps on slipping off. And then 
you just want to pull it down and then like that. So there's your nice whip finish done. So now that the whip finish is complete, I'm just going to take a little bit more of this nail polish and just go straight over it just like that. When you're going, be careful not to get any into the eye of the hook because that can clog it up so you can't attach it to your fly rod. But just go like this. Just put it on. Make sure to coat everything, all of the thread in it. And there's your larva complete. So this is the completed larva. As you can see, it that thread gives it a nice like X pattern kind of as you wind it back up. Um, and the gold bead just helps to kind of make it flash a little bit more in the water. Hope you guys like the video, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.